I might get a car to the face, but for the time being, it's working pretty darn well. <laughs> Welcome back guys to another edition of Looted Today. We are checking out the Wall Rallyist. Another variation of this kind of thing you might be more aware of are wall racers. They're made by a different company and they look far more presentable than these guys, but these were a fair bit cheaper on Amazon, so I decided to go for the cheaper option, which may come back to bite me in the ass later on in this video. It's fine, the quality is in our content, not the products. Well said, Ben. I didn't think there was gonna be a major difference between this one and the wall racers, but now I'm looking at the packaging I am kind of worried because on the top here, just underneath the title, it says smooth on the wall, the panel, the ceiling, the glass with a taxi. What the hell does that mean? Wall Hapter, what? What? What the heck is a Hapter? Super wide infrared control, miniature size, and lightweight auto stable and precision speed tri band technology. It sounds impressive, but I have no idea what that is. So inside the box, you get a wall rallyist or a car, as we like to call them. One controller and a USB cable to charge. My favorite part of videos is putting batteries in things. I get so much joy out of it, it's unimaginable. So the controller is pretty simple. You've got two analog sticks, one controlling the forwards and backwards movements. You've got left and right movements on this one here, on and off switch in the middle, and then you can change the radio controls in the middle there. And then you've got two shoulder buttons on the top, and judging from the instructions, these do absolutely nothing at all because they don't mention them whatsoever. The car itself looks pretty cool. I like the blue and the silver combination, looks quite nice but it is super duper light it feels like i'm holding a sandwich i don't know why i said sandwich that's just the first thing that came to my head on the back here you've got your charging port which you would charge with the usb cable which comes with the car and then you've got two on options one for floor driving and one for wall driving so obviously if you want to drive this thing on the wall you need to set it to wall mode now you're all probably wondering apart from smart asses out there who already know how this thing works how does this thing drive on walls but first things first let's try out the floor mode Follow it, Ben. Track it. It's a feisty little car, suffice to say. I do like the fact that it has LEDs on the front and back of the car. So if you're reversing, it flashes red like so. And when you're going forwards, it flashes blue. That's just a nice little touch. I like that. It's quite a speedy little thing, but you can't be very accurate with the turning. It's, it's really hard to be very precise. So if I want to point this towards Ben. Towards Ben. No, no. Towards. Towards, towards Ben, no, okay, wait, wait, nearly got it, nearly, there we go. Not exactly very precise. Now let's try out the wall function. So basically this little car has a fan in the bottom here which creates suction, which allows it to stick to the wall. Now I'm sure most of you know, fans can be pretty darn loud. So I have a feeling this car isn't gonna be exactly very stealthy when it's on the wall. <laughs> yeah, it's not very subtle. What? Well, it sticks. That's always a good start. It's not hard to pull it off either. I have a feeling that when the battery dies, this thing is just going to drop off the wall and possibly break. But let's see how it goes. All right. That's pretty neat. Oh, oh, it's stuck on something. There's something on the wall which won't make it go any higher. This feels very risky, but it's working, so it was worth the risk. I might get a car to the face, but for the time being, it's working pretty darn well. I'm gonna try moving on to another wall panel, but if that doesn't work, I'm gonna try catching it when it inevitably falls. It's moving, it's mo it's kind of moving. Yeah, that's, uh, that's not going anywhere. Hey! <laughs> I didn't catch it. But it also didn't break. And that's all that really matters. It's not really getting along with a paper background. It's trying its best though. You know, I've got to give it A for effort. Oh, 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 and he's gone. This thing may not be overly impressive, but it is gosh darn fun. If you had like three of these all hooked up to different controllers and raced them along the ceiling, that could be a pretty fun evening. For the cheapest option on Amazon, it definitely does what it says on the tin and it does it pretty well. Obviously the build is quite cheap, but it did actually manage to survive some pretty high drops. So that's always a good sign. The plastic is quite flimsy, so it is fairly shock absorbent. That'd be really embarrassing if I just dropped that and it just broke. <laughs> when you're using one of these on the wall, you have to make sure that the wall is completely smooth. If there's a slight dent in the wall, it's not gonna be able to get over it. Don't even think about using it on something like brick 
that's just not going to work whatsoever. I do think a product like this would be better off coming in a set of two or three so you could play with friends straight out of the box. But if you are looking to buy one of these, may I suggest you buy two just because it's going to be way more fun if you can race two of these on the ceiling than just having one running about. It's cheap, it's cheerful, it works, but it does make me wonder how good the more expensive ones are. So maybe we'll check out one of those in the future. But for now, this is going to be it for another edition of Looted. If you like this video, hit like. If you really like all our videos, hit subscribe. We've got more videos on the way. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We've even got my own personal Twitter, which you can follow me on there. If you want to support the channel further, check out the links in the description to our Patreon page. You can also join us on our Discord server, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.